How are you doing, beautiful and wonderful followers? Dear students, are you okay? Good. Today we are going to teach you a very wonderful lesson. We are proceeding with phrasal verbs in English language. Phrasal verbs are very important in English. They are very important in English. But before, I would like to show you the word of today, which is butchery. Butchery. This is a place where meat is sold and kept. Yes. This is a place where you can keep meat or sell it. Ahaniho inyamazi chururizwa, chizigurishirizwa, changwa se bazibika. Tuhitamuri butchery. We say butchery. Butchery. This is the word of today. Butchery, which is butchery in, in French. Yes, we say butchery. Eh? Butchery. Butchery. Nice. Then these are English phrasal verbs. We are going to teach you English phrasal verbs. We are going to give you five English phrasal verbs. Are you ready to get the lesson? To learn the lesson very well on pan edutainment? Good. If you have not yet subscribed, try to subscribe now to get the new lesson that we put here each and every evening. Good. Then here I have the book that is going to help you improve your English level. This book is very wonderful. I have another one that I don't want to show you here, which is grammar book, which is called Basic English Grammar Book. This book also is very wonderful for you. Then these books are very important to you. You should buy them for cheap price. Jichiro Nibito Chani Mujukuri Nice. Try to send our lessons to as many people as possible if you want to help us. Niushaka kudufasha jujera jezanawe mujot kwa gufashijemo ubihaga chiro nawe wohereza masomo kubantu benshi bashoboka. Icyo gihe uzagukatishije tike yo kujya mu ijuru. Iguri ye bikorwa byiza nibyo nyine bigaragaza umuntu wari we nibyo biza jana umuntu mu ijuru. Ntabwo umuntu azajyanwa n'isura n'iki twarabibonye ubushize ahubwo azajyanwa n'ibikorwa byiza yakoze hano ku isi. Good. Then uh, we are going to give you five uh, phrasal verbs as I have mentioned above nuko nabivuze uh, asking we are going to get the meaning of asking. To ask him is to invite someone into your house. To ask him is to invite someone into your house. To ask him, nugu tumiru munu munzu yao. Eh, that is to ask him. I will ask you in tomorrow. Ejo, zagu tumiru. Good. Then here we have a very short conversation or dialogue between two people. Here we have Jeff is at the door. Eh? Jeff is at the door. Munu ngarabu zati. Jeff is at the door. Jeff ari kumudyang. Ask him in. When you say ask him in, it's like tell him to enter. Mugire yinjire. Tell him to enter. To ask someone in is to invite someone into your house. E nugutumiru munari kuiwawe. Nhabgaru kumutumira mukabari. Iwawe. Eh. Good. To ask in. Nice. You should get this phrasal verb, which is asking. The second is ask around. Oh, to ask around is to ask too many people about information. That is to ask around. Ask a number of people for information to help. If you are asking around, you are asking too many people or a number of people to get some information to help, which is there to help you. That is asking around. Good. Then here you can say, do you know? Here there is no, please. Yes. Do you know how to cook mushrooms? Do you know how to cook mushrooms? I have no idea. I have no idea. But I will ask my teammates around tomorrow. 
ariko ejo nzagerageza kubaza abo dukorana niba babizi i will give you the feedback after asking around eh nyuma yuko mbajije abantu zakubwira to ask around is to ask too many people or a lot of people about something kubabaza ku kintu runaka utaruzi that is to ask around we are going to continue giving you other phrasal verbs let's continue this is the third phrasal verb which is differ differ to differ is to want something a lot gushaka ikintu cyane wumva ikinyotewe that is differ to differ here i can say i am dying for coffee i am dying for coffee ndaba ngo mfite inyota mfite nyotewe ikawa rwose mazigena hayinwa i am dying for coffee i am dying for whiskey eh mazigena ngo whiskey i'm dying for it to die for means to want something a lot good then number four is to feed up to feed up is to give someone a lot of food to make them stronger or bigger to give someone a lot of food to make them stronger or bigger no guha abantu cyangwa umuntu ibiryo byinshi kugira ngo akomere cyangwa abe munini that is to feed up that's why we say i'm fed up are you fed up urahaze yes i'm fed up yes because there is someone who has fed me up kuko ari umuntu nyine wangaburiye good then to feed up no kugaburira umuntu ibiryo byinshi kugira ngo komere cyangwa abe munini good then here you can say when i get money i will feed my children up when i get money i will feed my children up nimbona amafaranga abana banje nzabapakira ibyo kurya eh baba baba abana bakomeye babe banini good that is to feed up then to hold on hold on hold on hold on to hold on is to wait for a short time to wait for a short time gutegereza igihe gitoya that is to to hold on yes mucyongereza nyumuna kubwiye ngo hold on please i'm coming ndaje gutegereje icyo giye bakubwiye ngo tegereza nyine gato yes here we have two people the first one is saying where is your teacher ngarimo warihe where is your teacher the second she is still busy aracyahuze please hold on for a few minutes Please hold on for a few minutes. Tegereza mu minota mike rwose. Araje. She is coming now. Hold on for a few minutes to hold on. You should know asking ugomba kumenya ibyo twiza ubu. Asking kamenya the meaning, you should know the meaning of asking. To asking is to invite someone into your house. That is asking. Second is to ask around. Ask around is to ask many or a lot of people about something kubaza abantu ku kintu runaka utazi then uh, the third which is this one is to die for die for is to want something a lot gushaka ikintu cyane then feed up is to give people or someone a lot of food to make them stronger or bigger then uh, hold on is to wait for a short time nice utahanye tutunu tutan ucyongereza phrase of verbs is a phrase of verbs uzitahanye hari cyo waba wungutse kurutu umuntu utaje hano fantastic good then uh, we are going to give you the saying of today after completing this lesson good tujye kuba rero imvugo y'umunsi in english we say ucyongereza turavuga ngo use your smile to change the world Don't let the world change your smile. Use your smile to change the world. Don't let the world change your smile. Bishatse kuvuga ngo ukoresha inseko yawe uhindura isi. Ariko ntugatume isi ihindura inseko yawe hani seko twayifashe nka good actions ibikorwa byiza inseko twayifashe nko kuba uri umuntu mwiza ugwa neza 
eh kuko buriya smile igenda na rimwe na rimwe nibyo nyine ukora yuri umuntu uhora zinzu munya cyo gihe ntabwo buri mwiza cyane urebye ariko wawe nduhora yishimye niki byukoresha ibyishimo byawe bikoreshe uhindura isi ariko ntugatume isi ihindura ibyishimo byawe muri make smile ni ibyishimo bikorwa byiza aho ngaho use your smile to change the world don't let the world change your smile i am teacher jasper bye bye we are together